everyone welcome back to my channel today i'm going to talk about the skinwalkers i've been wanting to make this video for a little bit of time but i'm going to be honest with you just reading about them terrifies me because it said just mentioning them can make them come to you and it just freaks me out a little bit but here we are halloween's coming up i got my stranger thing shirt on i don't know if you guys can see it because season four is coming out soon so i was like perfect timing so if you guys like these type of videos don't forget to like subscribe and let's get to it what's really scary and frightening about skinwalkers is that they are these beings but they can transform into anything they could transform into a child they can transform into your mom a best friend they can transform into animals what's really scary is that they are the masters of trickery so what's really scary is when they transfer into these beings that they possess the outside body of them if that makes any sense what's the scariest is that you have no idea so there could be people in your life that could be a skinwalker and you don't even know what they really are which is like really terrifying so i'm going to give you a little bit of a backstory of where the skinwalkers all came from and how it started being recorded there's to this day a huge ranch where these skinwalkers are known to make their presence and a lot of horrific things have happened there and i'm going to get more into that this ranch is called the skinwalker ranch and it's located in utah this ranch is humongous it's 512 acres of property and for hundreds of years there have been known haunting and for hundreds of years there's been recorded alien encounters paranormal encounters also on this ranch there was a family that had been basically ran out because they were so scared and horrific um, animal killings and slayings it's just crazy what's wild though is it was previously owned by a native american tribe i personally wouldn't fuck around with any previously owned indian land because it's usually pretty sacred and I just wouldn't fuck with it. They say this ranch is cursed by the skinwalkers. In 1994, the Sherman family bought this ranch and at the time they had two kids. Immediately when they bought this ranch and they moved in, a big wolf came right over to them and let them pet it, the whole family. And they thought it was really odd because wolves usually don't let you pet them. They're not really uh, friendly, I guess after they let the family pet it and immediately took one of their calves they tried to stop this wolf from taking the calf and they shot at it about five times it's really weird when they shot at it it didn't even seem phased and it ran to like a dead end and that's where they said it just completely vanished this family only ended up staying for two years on this ranch the shermans ended up reporting seeing unidentified animals that they didn't understand what these animals were because it wasn't a wolf it wasn't a coyote it just things that they couldn't explain and they said that they would hear these like crazy noises coming from these animals and coming from the woods and they just it sounded like things they had never heard before and then within months of you know moving in they ended up seeing a lot of different lights in the sky and they said it was like big and orange and it was just really weird and eerie and then this is what was truly terrifying for them is that they ended up seeing a lot of their cattle ended up just mysteriously dying but they weren't just dying in normal ways they were dying in like these really gruesome horrific ways their dogs were burned in the middle of the night along with some of their cattle the cows were dismembered and they would rip out their insides and like left on the ground but the weirdest part is the way their insides were ripped out it was in this surgical manner whereas no way an animal like a coyote or a wolf could have done it it had it like a precision to it the way it, the cows were like cut and everything the intestines were all taken out and laid out it just wasn't possible that an animal could have done this to them the shermans also reported seeing when they were driving home one night like a big fiery light sensation happening in the sky that ended up following them home one night so said that they would hear men speaking in unknown languages all throughout their property this is where they chalked all these instances up 
to Supernatural. They were terrified and they ended up leaving after two years. This is where in 1996 the billionaire Rob Bigelow ends up buying this ranch because he wanted to study it because it had made national news and headlines. It became a sensation. So he bought it and he put all these cameras all over the property. The first night that he bought this property and put all his cameras and sensors all over it, they saw two orbs 15 feet off of the ground. And when they decided to get closer to it, this human animal looking thing that they couldn't explain it came out of the woods. It got near them and then it ran off. As they studied this and like looked around for evidence and clues they found these huge footprints that were way too big to be humans and it also had claws attached to it. Now the reason they call it the Skinwalker Ranch is because the Skinwalker the name comes from Navajo legend a type of harmful entity that can shapeshift and possess something else's body whether it's a human an animal whatever it may be. But here's the thing, it doesn't just happen at Skinwalker Ranch, even though that's where most of the poor reportings and sightings have been. Just last year, this couple ended up seeing about 30 miles away from this ranch, they ended up seeing what they thought was like these lights hovering over in the sky, and they ended up breaking off, and they said it looked like these three alien beings, and it looked like things they had never seen before. They were too huge to be human of any kind, and in their stomach they were just terrified and didn't feel good. As of now this Skinwalker Ranch is still owned and actually guarded and doesn't just let anybody in because it's said to be too dangerous. It's too uncertain of what could happen to people if they go in there and I'm not gonna lie I would love to go and spend the night maybe I don't know but I want to know what you guys think. Do you think it's cursed maybe by this Navajo tribe or this previous Indian tribe who owned the land? Do you think it is just a hotbed of of paranormal activity and demonic forces. Well, that's it for this video. I want to hear what you guys think. I love you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you soon.